If you've been wanting to set up an Etsy or print on demand store to generate thousands of dollars a year passively, then this is the video for you. I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step how to create your shop and integrate it with Printify, who is going to fulfill all your orders for you so you don't have to do anything except create your listings on your shop, making this almost completely passive. In this video, I'm going to go through everything from creating your account on Printify, setting up your Etsy shop, integrating it with Printify, filling out all all of your settings, creating your first listings, and fulfilling your orders. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to make sure you get your first listings up and running for your Etsy shop. If you are starting a business on Etsy and you are going to be making everything yourself in your own home, you are going to be very limited in terms of how many items you can produce, how fast you can ship things out, how many of a product you're able to send, how much inventory you're able to purchase, but if you work with a partner like Printify, you simply are making the listings and then they are taking care of everything else on their end, everything from shipping, communicating with the manufacturer of your products, printing the product, so you don't have to worry about a thing. If you're just relying on yourself, you are not going to be able to get as much products out as you're hoping to and every single product that you make is going to take you hours just in the creating it and packing it up. If that is something that you can eliminate completely, you're going to be able to get even more listings up, sell even more products, meaning more profit for you and your business. If one of your goals this year is starting your own print on demand business, keep watching and I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate with Printify, who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. I'm super excited because Printify is who I've been relying on in my own Etsy business, so I was super excited to be able to bring you this tutorial and collaboration with them today. I will have all of their information linked in the description box below if you want to create an account with them. So what exactly exactly is Printify and how does it work with your print-on-demand business? Printify is the largest network of print-on-demand merchants and sellers. Well, if you go about this another way, for every type of product that you would want to sell on your Etsy store, everything from tumblers to jewelry to t-shirts to mugs, you would have to find a specific merchant for every single different product. The amazing thing about Printify is that they kind of act as the go-between between you, the seller, and all of the different merchants. So you have one account. You can sell literally hundreds of different products just through them. Their customer service is amazing. They are so fast and they have some of the lowest prices I've seen for any other print on demand manufacturers. That's why I've chosen to work with Printify for a long time. I really think they're a great choice for you as a new print on demand seller as well. The first thing you're going to do in this process is create an account on Printify. What I love about Printify is unlike some other print providers, you are actually able to link multiple different Etsy shops, which is amazing because for me personally, I run one general shop that has a bunch of different niches and types of products, but I also have a couple more specific niched down shops with some niches that sell really well for me. So I like that I'm able to manage those all out of the same account. Printify actually has two amazing options for sellers. They have a free account that you can create that doesn't limit you in any way in terms of what products you can use or what you can sell. But with the premium account on Printify, you are going to get up to 20% off on all of the products you order. Once you start making several sales every single month, it works out that the premium membership will by far pay for itself. But when you're first starting out, there is no reason that you can't just use that free account. So now we're gonna start making our account on Printify. All right, so when you first get started, Printify is going to ask you just a few questions about what type of store you're running, what your type of revenue is, what products you're gonna be making. This is more for their internal information, I believe, but you can fill that out to the best of your ability. That will create your initial Printify account. So now we are going to connect our store. So now that we are in here, you can see that it says my new store right here and it's going to say not connected. That means it's not connected to an Etsy store yet. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to take us to the my products page which is blank right now. Now that you have your account created on Printify, it's time to connect it to your Etsy shop. If you don't already have an Etsy shop, you will need to create one at this point and then this is how you link it to your new Printify account. So what we're going to do is we are clicking on my new store. We are going to push add a new store. So it's going to take you right over to here where it's going to let you connect your store. You can connect it to Shopify, Etsy, Walmart, Squarespace, eBay, Wix, WooCommerce, Presta, BigCommerce, API. So there are a lot of different options that Printify works for, but today we're just going to do it 
with Etsy. So we're going to push connect. All right. So before that, you're going to need an Etsy shop set up. So if you do already have an Etsy shop, you can skip right over this part, but I'm going to quickly walk you through how you create a new Etsy store. All right. So now we're on Etsy and it's just giving us a welcome. Once again, it's going to ask you a few questions about why you're here. I'm just going to zoom through those really quickly. All right. So now it's time to start your shop. Now I'm going to walk you through all the settings that you're going to want to put for your Printify and Etsy integrated shop. All right, then there's just gonna be some shop preferences here and you put your preferred currency. Let's save and continue. Now it's going to have you name your shop. So I am going to put here, I'm gonna put here Hannah E Test Shop. So we'll save that and continue. All right, when you get here, it's going to prompt you to create a listing. So for this, sometimes if you don't have anything, you can just create a test listing. So I'll say test listing number one. I will show you in detail how you're going to fill this out when we actually create our first real product. But for right now, this is not important. It's prompting us to add at least one photo. All right, so since it wanted me to put a photo here, I just used one of the mock-up photos that I created and place it in one of my previous videos. So that looks great here. And then I'm just gonna since this isn't important, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom through filling this out for this first test product. And then later I will show you exactly how to do your first real product. All right, so now our first listing is created and then we'll push do this later because we don't wanna create any more listings without Printify yet. So now we're gonna figure out how we're going to get paid. So I am an individual, so I push individual. And then you are gonna fill out all this information with your date of birth, your country, first name, last name, and then you're gonna fill out this taxpayer information. So if you have a PO box or something, you, if you are an individual taxpayer, you need to put your actual physical address, not your business's address, unless you are filling out this information with a business ID. All right, so now your banking details should all be updated. And we're just going to continue. Now you're going to set up your billing here. So this could be different than where you want them to deposit your funds. If you want to be billed on a credit card or a different debit card, you just fill out all of this information. If this is the first time creating your Etsy account, that test listing that you did create, they are going to bill you that 20 cents for, but you are going to be able to use that for a different listing in the next few months if you want to. So just know you're going to get charged that 20 cents. Then you'll need to set up two-factor authentication with your phone number. All right, so now your shop should be all set. So we are ready to get back to filling out the settings of our Printify shop. All right, so we are going to go to click on new store and then we're going to push add new store, connect with Etsy, and then we are going to give it permission. So we're going to grant access to access our Etsy account. So now it is integrating with Etsy and it's successfully connected. All right, so now we're gonna go back to my new store. All right, so now that we have our store, we are going to go to my account and we're going to start filling out all of this information. So you can start filling out the name of your business. That can just be your own personal name unless you have a business name you'd like to call it. And then fill out your own personal information here as well as your address. The next step is filling out your payment information. This is going to be very important in your Printify account because this is where all of your orders are initially going to get charged from. Unlike Amazon or Redbubble or some other print on demand shops, when you are running an Etsy shop that's integrated with a print provider, you are in charge of paying for the product when it is purchased. So if someone on your Etsy shop buys a t-shirt for $20, you are immediately going to get charged what that item is going Going to cost you as the seller on Printify. So that could be around $10 that you're immediately going to get charged on your credit card or debit card. And then once the order has been fulfilled and sent to the buyer, when you get paid by Etsy, you will receive that $20 getting your profit. But one thing that is important to know is that you are paying for these orders up front. So make sure that you are able to afford the orders that you're going to be getting. If you do have some sort of limit on your credit card or debit card, make sure you're paying attention to that because you wouldn't want to get 20 or 30 orders in one day and not be able to pay for them on Printify, thus delaying your order. And another thing to note is sometimes for new shops, Etsy will put a little bit of a hold on your payout 
until they know that you're an established, legit shop. This should not be a big problem as long as you're fulfilling the orders and your customers are happy, which they definitely should be if you're using a good print provider like Printify, but sometimes this just creates a delay in getting some of those funds. So make sure you are aware of that when you are linking your card. You want to choose the one that you're going to be able to pay for these orders on every time you do receive an order. Now it's time to fill out our payment details. This is going to be the card that Printify is going to charge whenever you receive an order from your Etsy shop. So set that all up here. It's very simple to do. You just plug in all of your card information. Another thing to note is that every time you do receive an order, it's going to create an individual transaction on your credit or debit card. Once you start selling more, if you don't want to be getting 20 to 30 transactions every single day, there's also an option here that you can put some funds from PayPal, and then Printify will use those funds first before it starts charging your card. So if you put $500 here, they would use all that money and you wouldn't be getting individual transactions every single time someone purchases a product. Now it's time to fill out your tax information. This will vary a little bit depending on what country you are going to be selling from, but this is important information for Printify to be able to have for your tax record. So make sure you are filling this out correctly. And then after you fill out the payment, we're going to go over to taxes. So there are three options, Canada, EU, Norway, and UK, and the USA. You are going to fill out all of the tax information that it requests right here. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly how to find and create your products and upload them onto your Etsy shop through Printify. So today I'm going to show you how to do a shirt with Printify. All right, so now we are back at the beginning and we are going to start working on creating our first products. So the first one that I want to do is I'm going to create a t-shirt. So I'm going to go over here to t-shirts and then I really like on Etsy to sell these Bella and Canvas. So that's what we're going to use. And on Printify, it's going to give you different options of which manufacturer you like to use. The ones that I typically have been relying on for t-shirts, especially those Bella Canvas, are Swift POD or Awkward Styles. Swift POD really just has the best selection of colors and their pricing is really good. So we are going to go ahead and push start designing. All right, so right now it's going to give us a little bit of information about what size this can be. We are gonna upload a design for this. All right, so once again, I just used the design that I had already created that mock-up for and uploaded it to my t-shirt. So now we're gonna select which colors that we want. So right here, I'm gonna pick the colors that I think looks best. Generally, I like to stick to about five different options on Etsy. I think if you give your customers too many options, sometimes that can kind of paralyze them and not make a purchase. So I'm gonna do a few other light colors that I think are going to look really nice with this. Maybe even a dark too. I think that looks pretty cool. And then we'll do black. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and save that product. So as you can see, it's auto-generated some mock-ups. These are not the mock-ups that I generally like to use. I create some in place it, which I also have another tutorial of right here of how to create mock-ups that are gonna look really good and like actual real products. And here, it says even here, you can create more mock-ups using place it. That's definitely what I recommend. And then this, I'm actually not going to worry about too much when we push this to Etsy because I'm gonna edit all the information in our actual Etsy listing. But what I do wanna edit right now is the pricing. So I'm going to select all, and then I want to not just edit the price on each one, I like to edit the profit that I'm going to make. Generally on shirts, I wanna put that I wanna make about seven to $8 of profit. So you see if I put $8, it automatically changed the price to all of those different items. And $8, even though it says that's the profit, once you account for Etsy fees, once you account for the renewing, sometimes the offsite ads, this is definitely not going to be the exact amount of profit that you're going to make. If I want to make $5 on a product, I'll usually add at least two more dollars just to give myself a little bit of buffer and wiggle room so I'm not accidentally eating into a lot of my profits. All right, so what we want to do is in the product visibility, before we push publish, we are going to put hide in store and that's just going to hide it in our Etsy store. So even when this product is live, people aren't going to be able to purchase it when it's just this test listing. And then 
for the visibility, I like to only show the in stock variants and then out of stock variants. So if maybe Swift POD ran out of black t-shirts, it would just say sold out on there. That makes it the most professional and you're not risking getting a lot of orders that you can't fulfill. And then we're gonna have it create a new shipping profile that's going to be unique to the t-shirts that we sell on Printify. So I'm gonna push publish and that is going to push it over to our Etsy store. So you can see it right here. Now let's go over to Etsy. Now that our listing is created and published in Printify, we are going to head over to Etsy to start editing our listing there and then we are almost done. All right, so I'm gonna go over to my shop manager page and then sometimes it takes a moment, but we are going to go over to our listings and wait for that to appear here. All right, so since we pushed hidden when we published this to our Etsy shop, our new listing is actually gonna be over in our drafts and I'm gonna go over here to edit. So as you can see, these are the listing photos that it has uploaded for us. And what I like to do is I'm actually going to get rid of this and I'm going to add in the mock-up photo that I had used earlier for that test listing because that is the design we're actually going to be doing. All right, so I'm going to want that to be the primary thumbnail, so I'm going to move it right there. And then you definitely could leave these models. A lot of times I will just delete those and then use the mock-up photos that I create and place it while also keeping all the other color variations so people can see what it's going to look like. All right, so now this is where we are going to create the title for our listing. So I like to start out my title saying what is actually going to be on the shirt. I'm going to write over stimulated mom club so i've headed over to sales samurai which is a research and listing tool for etsy i actually have an entire video um, coming out all about how to use them and best utilize them as a research tool but for now i'm just going to use it to help me get a jump start on this listing so i'm going to go over to search and then i'm going to do a basic search. All right, so I went ahead and I searched Mother's Day shirt funny just to give me some ideas of what other people are putting in the titles of their shirts that are kind of targeting that mom niche, especially as Mother's Day is going to be coming up this spring. So a lot of times I will look through these listings and with that overstimulated mom's club shirt, I might even plug those keywords in and see what I get or anxious moms. I could put that in and kind of look at what other people are doing for their titles. And I'm gonna not gonna copy any of these exactly, but take some inspiration and kind of fit what is going to work for my own listing. All right, so I went ahead and I filled out that title here. And then now we're gonna fill out more details about this listing. Who made this product? I did. What are we selling? A finished product. And then we are saying it's made to order because it's print on demand. And then in the category, we are going to put it in t-shirts. I like that a lot of this stuff is already filled out for you. And I'm not gonna worry about putting the primary and secondary colors. And the sizes is also gonna be auto put in by Printify. So the sleeve length, you could definitely say short sleeve, neckline, that's gonna be crew. Clothing style, you don't have, occasion, you don't have to do either. And then renewal options, you can either do automatic or manual. This, if you put automatic after four months, it's gonna charge you the 20 cents again. But a lot of times it's nice to keep it on manual because if this product hasn't sold in four months, I might want to reevaluate if I do want to sell it on my shop or make some changes to the SEO. So I'm going to keep that on manual. And then we're going to go over to the description and I'm always going to leave what Printify has in here kind of as information at the bottom. But Etsy does take into account some SEO from the first part of your description. So you want to make sure that in natural text, you're telling a little bit about what your item is. So I'm going to fill that out right now. All right, so I filled that out and you probably will want to fill that out a little more, but that just gives you an example of what I would do. And then we're going to go down to production partner, which is going to be important if you are working with a print on demand company because you're not creating everything yourself and you do have to disclose that to Etsy. So we're going to add a new production partner. And then the production partner is going to be Swift POD. So even though we're working with Printify, you're gonna to wanna to put the name of the person who's actually creating that product, which in this case, we use Swift POD. If you went with Monster Digital or someone else, you're gonna just put the name of that here. So location, I usually just say United States. And you can get more specific in terms of the city if you want to look up where Swift POD is located as well. And then I'm going to say that I do not want to show this production partner to my buyers. And then this is going to be a print shop for what they do. 
And about the production partner, you have to put something, you have the ability to print. So I work with this partner. And then why are you working with this partner? I don't have the technical ability or equipment. What is your role? I design everything myself. What is the partner's role? They do everything for me. So we're going to save that partner and that will not show up to buyers, but now you have Swift POD saved in there and we can select them whenever we sell with Swift POD. So now you're going to go ahead and use tags here. So once again, this is something that I'm going to want to go back over to Seal Samurai and see what tags we should probably be using. All right, so right here, there's funny mom shirt, Mother's Day shirt, gift for mom, Mother's Day gift, Mother's Day shirt, mom life shirt, mama shirt, Mother's Day gift. So I'm going to take a few of those and add those to our listing. So I definitely recommend filling out all 13 of those. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just doing four. And then materials you do not have to fill out. All right, so inventory and pricing and the SKU number are all going to be down here. And Printify has already done this for you. So if you did change the price in Printify, all the prices should already be here. And it automatically is going to say you have 999 quantity of each item. So this you don't want to mess with because if you do delete those SKU numbers, it could mess up the syncing with your Printify account. All right, so now we're going to go over to shipping options. And then Printify has just created this shipping label for you. So it's going to charge $435 um, domestically, and then it automatically gives a one to seven business day processing time. So you're not going to want to mess with that either, because this is what Printify is going to be doing. You don't want to guarantee a shorter shipping period because you can't guarantee what Printify is going to do. So I think it's best to just leave what they have. And then all of this, you won't have to worry about either because Printify has already calculated the weight of everything. So you won't need to fill out any additional shipping information. And then if you do want to create a no return policy, you can create a policy here. So returns, I accept returns of this item. I do not. I accept, accept exchanges. I do not. So I'm going to save that and apply. No returns or exchanges doesn't mean you won't get requests for them, but this just helps minimize the amount of returns you're going to be getting. And then now we're going to push publish on our item. All right, so sometimes it does this where it says fill out the required fields correctly. So we're going to go back and look, make sure everything is filled out. And sometimes I think this is just an error with some of the integrating with Printify, but usually if you just push it again, it will let you publish. Exactly. That's what it did. All right. So now we go to our active listings and we can see that this one has been moved over to our active listings. So now if you want to look at it, you can view that on Etsy here. And this is exactly what the listing is going to look like. All right. So back on Printify, if you do get an order, it will show up in your Etsy and then you will be able to go over to orders and you will see all of your orders here where right now that is empty. Now, congratulations, your listing is live and you've published your first product on Etsy using Printify. Again, I will have them linked down in the description below. If you do want to check them out, you can sign up for a free account with them today. If you're looking for some product ideas that I know are going to sell like crazy in 2023 on Etsy, make sure you watch this video too, where I outline all of the best products you should be selling on Etsy with Printify. You don't want to miss that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.